But basically here we see that Marketo did uh, an A-B test on three uh, different uh, email or subject or... Hey everyone, today we will see how simple it is to create an A-B test in Marketo. I'm Sylvain Avril, founder of Merlin and Leonard and certainly the Leonard's team and this is a new Marketo tip. The easiest way to create an A-B testing in Marketo is to create an emailing program, you know, the American mailbox here. And in the control panel here, you have the possibility to add this A-B test. Let's do that. We arrive in a new screen where we can choose different between uh, four different A-B tests. So the subject line, the whole email, the from address and date and time. So let's try subject line first. I have to choose one of the email I've approved in my emailing program. Let's take the test one and here I can type as many, oops, sorry, as many subject as I want. I can also type a third subject, just depends on uh, the, the sample size. So I have decided to uh, test those three subjects. Here marketer will ask what's the size of the sample. So for instance, if I have 1000 email to send and I choose a 10% sample size, the test will run on 100 email. So 33, 33, 34. Marketer will test uh, the, the three subjects on the 100 email. How do they decide the winner? That's me. That's for me to decide between all those criteria. So whether it's the open uh, rate, the click rate, the click to open rate, the engagement score, or a custom conversion. For instance, the fact that uh, a visitor has filled out a form, or viewed a video, or uh, visited the page, whatever. Whatever is, is uh, gathered by Marketo. So here, if I click here, I will open a new page where I will have to get a trigger uh, dedicated to the winner creator. I choose here whether I want to declare the winner uh, automatically or manually. And here I will get uh, an alert and I will have to come back in the program to declare the, the winner. Let's choose automatic. And in the next step, I choose when I want to run the test. So here by default, marketer chooses uh, two days, which is a, a good idea. So it will shoot the first 100 sample emails uh, tomorrow morning on 26 year uh, at 9.42. It will wait for two days and after two days it will uh, look at the criteria. So here let's take the click to open and send automatically the 900 remaining email for the winner. We can for instance choose the whole email type and here I will have to add prepare complete email I want to test. So I have just two emails and the rest is exactly the same. I just have to click on add to add those emails in the test. Yeah. And uh, if we take the from address, basically it's the same. I can choose my, my email here and type the from email and add another one if I want to. For the date time, it's a bit different because I will not be able able to declare automatically who is the winner. I will have to choose manually the winner after the time I decide because here the, the departure time of the different email will be uh, different. So here it's up to me to decide when I, would, I will want to stop the test. When the test is over, I will have in Marketo, uh, in the dashboard part, I will have a second dashboard dedicated to my A-B testing results. That will look like this. So here I took a sample because I don't have so many emails in my database. But basically here we see that Marketo did uh, an A-B test on three uh, different uh, email or subject or from, we don't know exactly. And we have different KPIs regarding the uh, deliverability, the click, the click to open and the summary here. 
So I think he chose the click as winner. So the winner will be the C because the C has the most click. Um, so that's a pretty uh, simple and uh, practical way to create an A-B testing in Marketo. Uh, obviously, you need 48 hours to do the test. So if you're in a rush, that's uh, not uh, very useful. You have to plan ahead. But I hope this will be useful to you. Bye-bye. Talk to you soon.